everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video I'll be showing you how I'm going to hem this off shoulder sleeve I made a, a tutorial on how I cut this sleeve so this is just a separate video on how I'm going to attach this off shoulder sleeve to the main body of the sleeve so first of all, what I have here is two black uh, elastic and this one too. This one is for before my elbow. What I did was this. I took the circumference of my elbow, that is the round measurement of my elbow, and I, and I minus uh, five out of it. So what I had was this one. Then this other elastic you saw here is the half of my ham o so half of my arm o was nine point uh no, no sorry. my full ham o was nine inches then half of it was what i have here you know it's off shoulder half of it is uh, 4.5 here then on the top of my off shoulder that is on top of the, the, the one that will fall on top of my shoulder is 4.5 so what i have here is 4.5 so if you see these blue stripes i have here is what i'm going to be using as a piping on the bottom of the off uh, of the off shoulder sleeve because i want to have some design so and also you can see two stripes here as well i'm going to be using this for the top as well this is for the top of the off shoulders because I also want it to have that same color on top as well so let's get down to it I'm going to do here um yeah remember I have a uh, two sleeve here so I'm going to take away this one then I will start with one sleeve so the first thing I'm going to do here is this first thing I'm going to do here this is the first shoulder so the top of the shoulder here what i'm going to do here this is the green thing i'm going to be using to design it so the first thing i'm going to do here is this i'm going to simply fold it like this and then i'm going to make a stitch straight stitch to the ending i'll just fold it like this i'll stitch here stitch stitch, stitch to the end stripe which I cut out I just hem like I said earlier I'm going to hem the, this side of it so this is the right uh, the wrong side of the fabric this is the wrong side of the fabric and this is the right side of the fabric so what I'm going to do is this I'm going to place this like this then I place it here making sure they are equal then I'm going to stitch from here. Make sure that I'm going to stitch from there. When I finish stitching, I'll come back and show what I'm going to do. Then this one as well, I'll place it on this side as well. On this side as well. Then I'll stitch it straight down as well. So I've finished stitching the top. The next thing I'm going to do is to just cut a bit. Make sure you don't cut the thread. Just cut on top. But make sure you don't cut the thread that you use in stitching it. Just cut it like this. And this side as well. Just basically keep on cutting to the end. So after cutting this, the next thing you're going to do here is you're going to turn it over to the right side. So now that I've turned it to the right side, the next thing I'm just going to do here is this. I'm just going to take it, see this one, take it like this. Then I'll push this up a bit. 
and I'll turn it over like this. Turn it over like that. I make sure this this side that I stitch also comes on top of this, like this. Comes on top. The other side as well comes on top. So when I take it to my sewing machine, I'm basically stitching on top of the red thread. I push it in, come on top. I use that to, to cover it up, you see? That's what I'm going to do. So I'll take this to my sewing machine and go and do it. So as you can see, I finished stitching the upper part of my sleeve. And I also did the same formula I use in stitching the upper part. That's the same formula I use for the for the bottom of my sleeve. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to put in the elastic. Like I earlier said, my elastic is well, the way I measured is half of my ham hole. So you no, know my ham hole was uh, nine and a half, half inch for sewing allowance. So what I have here is a uh, half of nine inches, nine nine point five. That's what I have here. I think it's four point something. That's what I have here. So what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to simply put elastic in like this to secure the, the elastic. Then I'll also use another pin here like this as well. So this one, what I'm going to do here, I'm just simply going to Put it in like this on one side like so so it's holding it's holding this side you see so when if i put in my last it, it will not move so this one that is free you can see i'll not put it inside the hole of my top of my sleeve so i'll start pushing it in as i'm pushing it in i'm drawing it I always like elastic on my product. I don't want anything that is too tight, actually. So I'll keep pushing it in. That's what I'm going to do till I get to the end of this place. So as you can see, I've already attached it. And you can see this one is coming out here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hold it like this. Then I'm going to take my my needle and my thread, the same color, the same thread. I'm going to use it to attach the, the elastic to the material so it will not move when I'm taking out my pin. See now I'm attaching it. It's attaching to the extra end of my elastic. So now that I've finished uh, attaching the elastic to the Akara fabric. So this is the right side. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn it like this. This is the wrong side now. So I'm going to take half an inch. You see this place that is coming out, this elastic. So I'm going to put, put like this together, making sure they are all equal. Then I will start stitching. I will just follow the shape of the sleeve. I will start stitching. I will get it like this. I will stitch. I will stitch. I will stitch. So I'm going to basically stitch to the top from there. Just follow the curve. Then I'm going to stitch to this place from there to this place. So now that if I finish stitching, I will be left with this hole here. Yeah. This is the optional sleeve which I have uh, done. This is the bottom part and this is the upper part. So this upper part is what I need to attach to the sleeve. So uh, let me put this here first. Then I'll take my off shoulder. My off shoulder blouse. So this is my off shoulder blouse. So remember I left half an inch for my ham hole here, half an inch. So what I'll do here is this. I'll take my off shoulder blouse, this is the right side. 
I'll push it in, making sure this one face this way. So I'll push it in like this. Then this side of the opening, this side that is open. I'll now take half an inch. I take my elastic, the top here, and the top here of my ham hole. I left half an inch of sewing allowance, and I'll merge it together. Merge it together, making sure they are all equal. Then I'll take my pin, I'll pin it like this. Then, so you see, I will now take this like this. I will now add it together because I'm going to sew from here, so I need to start putting my pin from here. So I'll make sure they are equal like this, then I'll pin. So I'm going to pin round, make sure that it could round like this. Now pin, which I just round, round, round to the other side, like so. So when I finish pinning it, I'll come back and show you how I finish it. As you can see, I finish using the pin to hook round the ham hole. So I'm getting to the up here so I'm going to put this out as well then I'll arrange it the half an inch here making sure that equal then I'll use my pin to secure it so So this is the end. So I'm going to take, to take this to my sewing machine and stitch and from there, take half an inch, stitch half an inch from there, 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 to the top, like so. Try. I'm just gonna be stitching it front like this. Be arranging it. Don't need to rush it. Just be arranging it round. The sleeve to the off shoulder blouse. So you can see it's attached. And this is the elastic that is on this side as well so if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos and i will see you in my next video for now one peace one love and bye for now